Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to add a text watermark to a PDF in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive PDF connector. Now, to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type Get File Content and choose the SharePoint option. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After we have created the file content action, we will look up the Cloudmersive PDF connector, which is the pink icon here and we'll select Add a Text Watermark to a PDF. It's important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now I'm going to indicate the watermark text I want to add to the PDF. Add my file content from the previous action and name my file. You can see there are a few additional fields below. These are completely optional, but can be used to customize the appearance of the watermark that fit your needs. For our last step, we're going to add a create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file and choose the output content from the previous PDF action. Once this information is filled out, we can click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, you can click the Test button. We will choose the Manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to the connector showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now you can check the destination folder for your newly watermarked PDF document. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors and Power Automate.